Welcome back to this fun and very informational episode of LG Corner with me, Dr. West Bishop. Now this episode is entitled, What the Film? And basically what we're going to talk about today is those surface films you may see on a water resource. You know, we're going to look at some of the things that may specifically cause that surface film and then, you know, finish up with what we may be able to do about it to uh, clear up that water column. All right, first up is pollen. Lots of times you have this pollen that sits on the surface of the water body, sort of hydrophobic, sits on top, forms this swirls. It can be uh, yellow or often white in color as well, and that can be the film you're looking at. It's actually a bunch of tiny pollen grains sitting on the water body surface. Now another culprit to that film, if it's more of a, a whitish type oily color, uh, could be different actual oils. Now these oils can originate from natural sources uh, like trees, cypress trees and other conifers, uh, pine trees can produce terpene compounds. Now these are natural oils, uh, they're hydrophobic and they sit on the surface of the water column. So you got these natural oils that can form sort of that whitish or oily appearance and then you have more of the oils from the anthropogenic sources. This could be from stormwater runoff, oil or grease that leaks from you know car or other industrial applications. Now another big culprit to these surface scums are different algal types and there's many different types of algae that can form that surface scum. A common one is those blue-green algae or cyanobacteria. They have these gas vesicles. They can adjust their buoyancy. They can pop up and sit on again the top of the surface, sit on the surface scum in the water body. They typically look that blue-green, real deep blue-green in color. They can build up and accumulate in the near shore areas. But microcystis, delicospermum, phanazomenon, planktothrix can all form these types of surface blue-green films. Another type of algae are the diatoms. These have this big central vacuole. They store lipids and fatty acids in them, which are less dense than water, and these can pop up and form more of a frothy, brown, sort of foamy-looking scum on the surface of a water body. Another algae that can form these bright green surface films is called helicodiction, so it traps this little gas bubble, pops up to the surface. There's a few other types of green algae that can form this green film, like chlorococcum. They just sit and can cover the entire surface of the water body, typically a bright green color. Now, uh, one, one common type I see is uh, another algae called euglena. Now this can form red scums, or these can be green scums, and sometimes these transition throughout the day as they pop into and out of the resting state. So the euglenoids can form some pretty colorful and unique and dynamic types of surface scums. And one last real, real neat algae can form actually orange surface scums. And this algae is a green algae called Botryococcus, but it stores a lot of its energy in lipids. This very high lipid content makes it less buoyant, pops up to the surface of the water body, usually this bright orange type of surface scum from that type of algae. Now there's many other types of biofilms. Uh, some other common ones I see include just heterotrophic bacterial biofilms. These just often look just dirty or brownish in color, sometimes a little bubbly on the surface of the water column. And another very common type of biofilm is a thin white biofilm, and these are often from protein films or protein compounds. Now the source of those proteins is very dynamic. It can come from excess fish feed. So lots of times fish food has you know, high fat content or lipid content, so it can come directly from the fish feed itself or the processing of that fish feed. As the fish excrete that food, there's a lot of oils and lipids that may still be in it that pop up and form the surface film. Uh, protein compounds can come from degradation of dead animals. If you had a fish kill or other animals dying off as they degrade and die, some proteins you know, come up to the surface. Uh, also just general organic matter that may have come into the system that the bacteria is breaking down and uh, working on can cause that protein film. So what we covered today was just a handful of different culprits to that surface film you may be seeing in your pond system. There's many, many different others out there. These are just some of the common ones that I see. And lots of times there are you know, multiple different components to that scum. Not just exactly one thing, but could be multiple things entrapped in that surface film that you're seeing out there. So, you know, as always, contact us here at CPRO if you need help identifying, you know, the culprit to your film issue out there. And uh, you can 
always send us a sample. We can take a look at it under the microscope and get a lot more precise identification of exactly what's causing the issue and then help you develop that right prescription to get out there, uh, clean it up, and get that water looking nice, clean, clear, and pristine uh, for whatever fun events you have coming up. So again, thank you for tuning in to this special episode of LG Corner entitled What the Film, and look forward to seeing you next time on the LG Corner. Thank you.